Hello, I'm Anthony Vaughn with Texas Instruments High Speed Amplifier Marketing Team. Today I will introduce TI's LMH6401 4.5 GHz Ultra Wideband Fully Differential Digital Variable Gain Amplifier that's ideal for use in DC to radio frequency or intermediate frequency applications. The LMH6401 is also an excellent driver for high speed analog to digital converters and a great choice for DC or AC coupled applications that require automatic gain control. The LMH6401 is commonly used in products ranging from communications to high-end test and measurement. The LMH6401 single channel fully differential digital variable gain amplifier is operated off of a 5 volt supply in either single or split configuration. The gain and power down functions can be configured using a simple SPI serial digital interface. The device features configurable gain between 26 dB to minus 6 dB in one decibel steps. The amplifier has stellar bandwidth of 4.5 GHz at a gain of 26 dB with an output of 2 volts peak to peak. Distortion is also kept to a minimum with second order harmonic distortion of negative 58 dBc and third order harmonic distortion of negative 54 dBc measured at 2 GHz. The device also has an output third order intercept point of 43 dBm at 200 MHz and 27 dBm at 2 GHz. Power consumption is kept to a minimum with a typical quiescent current of only 69 milliamps and a power down of 7 milliamps. The device may be powered down via a serial interface or by a dedicated power down pin. The LMH6401 also offers a wide operating temperature range between negative 40 and 85 degrees Celsius, making it well suited for use in almost all consumer and many industrial applications. One common use for the LMH6401 is to drive the fully differential inputs of a high-speed analog to digital converter. Many high-speed ADCs have a common mode voltage output that can be connected to the LMH6401's common mode reference input or VOCM pin to align the amplifier's output common mode to the ADC. If this pin is not externally driven, the output common mode of the amplifier will be self-biased to mid-supply. We have several resources available to help you quickly evaluate and start development with the LMH6401. You'll find them in the Tools and Software tab of the LMH6401 webpage at the address below. In the Models area on this page, you'll find the IBIS model, the TINA TI base reference design, and the TINA TI SPICE model for the LMH6401. If you don't already have the TINA TI SPICE simulation program, it's available as a free download at ti.com slash tina-ti. You can also export TINA TI models for use in other popular SPICE simulation programs. There are also hardware design kits and evaluation modules available for purchase. The LMH6401 EVM evaluation module is ideal for evaluating the functionality and performance of the amplifier across all gain settings. The board can be connected to an external power source, signal source, and test instruments through the use of onboard connectors. The board's USB connector can be connected to a computer and the amplifier's gain and power down settings can be controlled with an easy to use PC based application. For more information about this kit, visit the webpage shown at the bottom of the screen. You can also find reference designs on the Tools and Software tab that feature the LMH6401. One design is for a 16 bit 1 giga sample per second digitizer that uses the LMH6401 to drive the input channel of the ADS 54J60 high speed analog to digital converter. There is also a reference design for a 50 ohm 2 GHz oscilloscope front end that uses the LMH6401 as a driver for the 12 bit 4 GHz sample per second ADC 12J4000 high speed analog to digital converter. For more information about TI's LMH6401 digital variable gain amplifier and to download the data sheet, visit the link below. To see the entire portfolio of variable gain amplifiers, check out ti.com/vga. I hope that you have found this overview useful. Thank you for watching.